How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. So you're new to VPNs, you're interested in Nord, but you want to find out whether or not you should get it and how do you use VPNs in the first place, specifically Nord VPN. So today I'm going to get into all of that. Now, if at any point you want to go straight to the discounts or the full review, you'll find helpful links in the description down below. Okay, so let's start with what Nord VPN is or what a VPN is in the first place. Now, imagine you're sending a secret letter to your friend. Normally, anyone who sees the letter can read it. But what if you could put the letter inside a special envelope that only your friend can open? And what if this envelope also made it look like the letter was sent from a different place? Well, a VPN is like that special envelope for your internet connection. When you use the internet without a VPN, it's like sending regular letters that anyone can read. But when you use a VPN, your internet connection gets wrapped in a secure envelope, which makes it really hard for others to see what you're doing online. So as you can tell right here, all I did was just click on the American flag, one of the recently used um, servers right here. And if I go to what is my IP address.com, you can use any IP finder. It'll say that I'm using the American server. So that's basically how it works. It uses a different IP address from a server that belongs to the VPN provider, in this case, NordVPN. So a VPN can make it seem like you're using the internet from a different city or even a different country. So it's like sending your letter from a different place to keep things even more private. Okay, now that you have a basic understanding of what a VPN is, basically it's routing your connection through a selected server from the list right here. So we can just browse the list and pick it. And let's say you want to, you know, access some sort of content that is only available in Italy. You connect to the Italian server and that is basically it. That's how you use NordVPN or VPNs in general. Now, why should you get NordVPN? Why NordVPN specifically? Well, after testing a whole bunch of some of the best VPNs, I've got to hand it to NordVPN for being the best well-rounded option that offers a whole bunch of features for a very reasonable price, which makes it a very attractive VPN for most people seeking VPNs. It honestly covers the needs of more than 97, 98% of the VPN user base. You've got over 5,000 final servers in 60 countries. 60 countries is more than enough for most people so you have access to content from 60 different countries which is really cool you have a bunch of specialty servers for specific tasks that you might want to do now one of my favorite bonus features that you get with nordvpn which makes it a little more than a vpn is the threat protection feature which will block ads and malware infected websites and it will even act like a little bit of a mini antivirus in case you download any malicious files now you have meshnet for encrypted remote access and you have dark web Monitor, which will keep an eye out for data leaked to your information or your email or any personal information. If you go to the uh, settings right here, there's really nothing much to mess with here. Custom DNS for an easy way to change your DNS. You don't really need to mess with any of these if you just want to keep your usage very simple. Keep the protocol selection on Nord Links. This is going to be the fastest and best performing one uh, in terms of the kill switch. The kill switch will just make sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN. Otherwise, if the VPN disconnects for whatever reason, you know, perhaps unexpectedly, uh, it will kill your internet connection as well so that it can prevent any accidental IP leaks. And you have split tunneling in case you want to choose selected apps that are routed through the VPN connection while the rest of your network is left outside the VPN tunnel or vice versa. So it's a pretty useful feature. You're able to also secure up to six devices per subscription. And as you can tell, the way you use NordVPN is super simple, just very self-explanatory, really. Now that you know what the settings are all about, what type of features you have on offer. Of course, if you're looking for more in-depth information, you'll find it in the review down below. But overall, using NordVPN is super easy. Let's say, again, I want to access some kind of content from a region. Let's just go with uh, the United States, okay? So let's say I'm outside the United States and I'll connect to, let's just go with, you know, New York. Let's just connect to the New York server. And now I just have to wait a little bit here until I'm connected to the New York server. It's just finding the server. It might take a few seconds for it to connect, but as I'm connecting right here, and once I'm connected, 
I will be able to access the internet as if I'm in New York myself. So whether I need access to my American bank account, and I don't want to raise any suspicions because if your bank application notices that you're accessing your bank account from a different IP address, it might think that it's suspicious activity. Um, if you're simply just looking to use a VPN to access content from all over the place, again, you can use the VPN for that. You can use it for increased privacy and security since what a VPN does is that encrypts your traffic and um, it makes sure that you're as anonymous as possible for all of the websites that you're um, trying to access, except for social media websites. Obviously, if you're accessing your own social media website, um, you know, the website will be able to tell that it's you. Otherwise, if you're going to stranger websites or if you're trying to, again, access specific streaming services um, or websites or games or any kind of content that is only available in a specific country, you connect to that specific country and you're good to go. So if I refresh my IP address finder right here, it will say that I am now in New York simply because I'm connected to the New York server. And while I'm connected to the New York server, I know that my activity is protected and encrypted and it is private thanks to the no logs policy of NordVPN. They do not share my information with third party companies. So I'm not getting any spam emails. And of course, if you're wondering, yes, NordVPN does allow for torrenting and you have peer to peer specialty servers right here to help you out with that. And that's basically it for NordVPN. All in all, if you're looking for a well-rounded VPN that offers a whole bunch of bonus features for a very reasonable price, and it works for torrenting, streaming, it's got a strict no logs policy that is proven through independent audit reports, meaning that we have proof that they don't collect information. It's not just all talk. It's got super solid security and performance. Overall, it's just a great VPN, and I do highly recommend it if you're looking for an overall reliable VPN. Again, that also acts like a little bit of a mini antivirus, and you have a bunch of other features that can be very useful for your security. So that's basically it for this video. If you guys are interested in NordVPN, if you'd like to give it a try for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description down below that'll give you a little bit of a discount, which you won't commonly find if you just go to the website without a link. And you also find a full review if you'd like to learn a little bit more about the privacy policy, speed, streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. And besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.